This is the Qingdao Bay Bridge, a 35-kilometer engineering giant stretching across the heart of China's Jiaozhou Bay. At first glance, it looks impossible. But what's more shocking is how fast it was built. Construction began in 2007. Just four years later, China completed one of the longest sea-crossing bridges ever attempted. Engineers warned the seabed was too soft, the weather too extreme, and the currents too unpredictable. China built it anyway. To survive this environment, the bridge needed superhuman strength. It was designed to withstand magnitude 8 earthquakes, category 16 typhoons and non-stop corrosion from saltwater attacks. Thousands of foundation pillars were drilled deep into unstable seabed layers, reinforced with high-strength steel and fitted with advanced anti-shock systems. This isn't just a bridge, it's a defensive weapon against nature itself. But why build something so massive? Qingdao is one of China's most important coastal gateways. The bridge connects industrial zones, ports, logistics routes, airports, and tourism hubs in one single sweep across the sea. A trip that used to take 40 minutes now takes less than 10. Every year, millions of hours of travel time are saved, pushing China's coastal economy forward and strengthening global trade routes through one of Asia's busiest maritime regions. This bridge has now become a symbol, not only of engineering power, but of China's ability to execute mega projects at a speed the world still struggles to understand. Many countries debate projects like this for decades. China builds them before the debate even starts. The Qingdao Bay Bridge stands today as proof China is not just catching up in infrastructure, it is rewriting the rules of what is possible. This is InfoLens. Stay tuned for more stories on China's mega projects, future tech, and the global race shaping the 21st century.